Hi, I'm Lauren Casanza, Victoria's Secret beauty expert, here with Victoria's Secret angel, Lindsay Ellingson, who is the face of the new gorgeous bra and fragrance campaign. We're gonna show you ladies at home how to recreate the look. The first step is gonna be applying the VS Pro Airbrush FX Primer. You really don't need too much of this product, just maybe a dime to a quarter size amount. The next step is gonna be the tinted moisturizer. I'm just blending out on my hand using the same brush that we prepped using the primer. Just wanna blend it out and then pop it on and it gives a nice healthy glow. Next step is the VS Pro Radiant Effects Face Illuminator. So you wanna apply it to the cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose, and then you could also do it on the brow bone. And I even like it on the cupid's bow. I really think it gives that added fullness. The final step for face is to apply our Mineral Duo Powder, which is really beautiful. It has a highlighting shade and a blush shade, and just really natural. Because again, this is more of a neutral look, but really pretty and wearable. That concludes the basic face prep for this gorgeous look. And now we're gonna move into that sultry, smoky eye. The first step for eyes is to use the Light Effects um, Under Eye Brightening Pen. So I'm actually gonna use a brush. You just pat that right under the eye, and as you can see, it just brightens the whole entire area. This is called eye contact. What I love about this product is now, they're stamped with where to place the color. So you see the more taupey metallic is the base, the coppery shade is the lid, the champagne is the highlight, and then the flat brown is the crease. Also on the back of this product, a diagram showing exactly where to place the color. We're gonna start with the base shade. And we're just gonna pop it from the lash line to the crease. For this particular look, the color doesn't really go all the way into the inner corner because we're gonna put our highlighter there. You're gonna pop it right into the inner tear duct. So the flat brown is going to give that dimension. So this shade is going to go back, creating the look again of that bigger eye. So we're just gonna pop a little color in the crease our darkest shade and then we're gonna take a clean fluffy brush and blend it outward and the secret to a smoky eye is blending because the idea is that the effect is smoky now we're gonna take that last shade that's called lid and we're gonna pop it in the center to bring the shape of the eye the roundness comes forward we're also gonna add in one other shade aptly called fierce it looks very fierce right it's that. a metallic gunmetal you pop it right in the outer corner and blend inward. And again, you're gonna see from one eye to the next how that really intensifies the shape of the eye and just gives such a beautiful finish. We're gonna take these two shades, blend them together, dust it off, and we're gonna run it along the lower lash line. You're running it in. You almost wanna get into the base of those lashes with the color, but don't go in all the way because you wanna keep the highlight in the center. We're gonna pop the eye with extreme black. You wanna actually apply color in the lash line. You really wanna go as low as you could possibly go. And the closer in you're going into the eye, the lighter the brush stroke should be. I'm gonna go back in and layer a tiny bit, a touch more of the highlight color because now that we've used the darker colors all around, we wanna reemphasize that shimmery shade in the center. So we're just gonna wiggle the brush. This is my favorite part of the application. If I had to choose one product to wear every day, it would be mascara. Really? Yeah. And the triple drama mascara. is great because it's like a few coats in one. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to add mascara to the bottom lashes, which is something that you like to really mm -hmm. pop your eyes. The first step for lift, it's Smooth Effects Lip Scrub and Balm. It's so much about the eye that we're not gonna do a lip liner and we're not gonna do a very bold color. We're gonna do a soft color that just complements the eye. So even just the balm alone, there's not a lot of color to it, but it really enhances your natural lip tone. So next up, we're popping on the lipstick because we just want a little bit of a stain. As you see, it's um, soft color, but it's pretty color. And the last and final step is the gloss. You always want to start at the center of the lip because you want that really plump pout. And there you have the complete gorgeous look.